what a beautiful day it is today. Let's ruin it by checking Twitter. Why is Hugh Neutron trending? Well, fuck. So you ever had an idea for a video for like two years now that uh, before you could make it became a reality? The answer is no, that's really specific. Unless you're me, I guess. In which case, uh, Nick fighting game. Yeah, I love Nickelodeon. It was my childhood. Even if nowadays I prefer Cartoon Network. But they pretty frequently dipped into fighting games and flash games, so I thought it would be fun to make a whole roster based on their characters. Apparently Nick thought the same thing and they made a whole packing game based on it. Screw it, I don't know if this video will waste. Here's my hopes, predictions, here's my roster for Nick All-Star all Thrall. I like the last video I made on this. Every series will have, uh, at most, you can get three characters. Unless you're Spongebob. Yeah, it's unfair, but Spongebob is leaps and bounds the most popular thing Nick has, so I feel like it's deserved. Most are given, Spongebob would have jellyfishing and karate, Patrick would be Patrick, Seward would have a bunch of music stuff, Sandy has karate and maybe he'd have her final smash be her hibernation mode, Mr. Cow would be swinging money around and be using his big meaty claws, and Plankton I could see writing Karen or another robot to compensate for a small size. I also have two more that I want to add in. First would be Flying Dutchman. I think he'd be cool. Yeah, he flies, but it can be that he hovers off the ground a bit and can still hold. He mostly uses his sword and Tony sword to fire jokes here, but has a bunch of ghost abilities that he could use as well. For the final one, yes, it's half memeing, but I want to see Larry. He's got a jet ski, sports attacks, barbells. He'd be, in general, a heavy hitter. Going in order of release for the rest, and his Ren and Stimpy. Similar to what I said for Billy and Mandy in this card network video, they'd fight together, with a lot of attacks involving Ren hurting Stimpy to in turn hurt the opponent. Rograts would be next, and as much as I love beating up toddlers, I ha agree with the actual game of picking Reptar. He's a big boy who breathes fire. Pretty self-explanatory. Rocco would be fun. With these more cartoony characters, it lends to be able to do a heck of a lot of stuff with him. Maybe have Heifer and Filbert coming for some attacks. All Real Monsters is a show I don't really like. I only have room in my heart for one world where monsters exist and they go across dimensions to scare kids. I put down Grumble here though, but I feel like he's the best way to incorporate all the monsters into one. The official game has revealed Abelina so far, so I'm kind of fearing that all three monsters are going to be in the game as separate characters. Yes, I will complain about the roster slots of a freaking Nick game, shut up. For Hey Arnold, the obvious choice is, well, Arnold, but I can't really see him fighting. Helga though, She'd freak people up. Apparently Nick agrees with me because she's in the game while currently Arnold isn't. Norwood and Daggett could either fight together or separately as alts. Doesn't matter to me. Just make Muscular Beaver the final smash and include the Chad Log in some way and we're good. Cat Dog! He's a cat dog! One of his moves needs to be eating himself. The Fickle game is now Thornberry as a Thornberry rep, which makes sense, he's a kind of character. But Eliza should not be overlooked. For her, I'd say make her summon animals for every attack. I don't really see her as a fighter like Arnold, but unlike him, I couldn't see her having moves that potential, again, using animals. Rocket Power is the worst class for Nickton. I'm including Otto because I want to be him up. I do care about fairy out parents though. So far, none of the characters that are confirmed are from fairy out parents, but I feel safe in saying they'll be in it. Yes, Bush Hartman is the physical embodiment of Cosmo getting pregnant, but it's arguably Nick's second biggest show. Kenny would have a lot of variety with his fairies attacking for most moves, and also a good variety of alternate costumes. Mr. Crocker, I could see using all his fairy equipment for attacks, maybe weaponizing school equipment as well. Zim is already confirmed, and he's what you'd expect. Doc Ock arms for normals, and yeah, just for specials. Gur is really annoying honestly i don't understand why he's so popular but he is very popular so he's here as well dog suit would be an alt also lasers dib is the final zim character and again most of his moves are tech rudy and chalkstone would be fun all of his attacks would be drawing various things to help fight for him though i'd also see him as very light jimmy i'm shocked isn't confirmed yet again he'll use his inventions to fight make naked jimmy and alt you powers sheen is sheen no explanation needed. I know that Carl and Hugh Neutron are very popular requests, but I don't really see them happening, I'm sorry. They would be hilarious though. Jenny would ha have flight and lasers, and also maybe Raggedy Android as an alt to horrify all the children who've never heard of the show. They must suffer like I have. No one cares about Teenage Robot outside of Rule 34, but frick you, Vex is a cool and awesome, and I'm including her anyways. Danny is confirmed already, unsurprising since he was one of the first action series on Nick. Ghost abilities are very varied, so it'll be fun. Guaranteed. After that is Lad Phasmus, who's kind of just Danny, but stronger, but he's got some funky stuff too, like tornadoes and stuff. Aang is self-explanatory, four specials of four elements, and finally the Avatar safe. Also Nick Chris Appellant. 
As for the other two Avatar reps, I had a lot of options here, but I'm going with Toph and Zuko. You can probably guess why, but besides that, they're both popular characters and capable players on top of that. Waffle! He's unlikely, but I really found memories of Cat Scratch. Like Rocco, I could see him just having a bunch of Toon Force attacks out of nowhere, cracking the Final Smash, and make Gordon and Mr. Black either alts or give Waffle their colors. LT Grey is made for this game. It would be perfect. Honestly, I'd be disappointed if he wasn't in this game. Maybe, I'm not the biggest fan of the show, but Bessie can control bees, so that's pretty fun. Otis. Fanboy and Chum Chum were big memes last year, so I'd be shocked if they weren't included. They're superheroes after all, and are actually relatively capable fighters. I wanted to include either Boo, Kyle, or Manarchica, but I feel like that's pushing it just a bit. Like, memes aside, I mean, it's not a very popular show. Dudley! I, I will never escape this show. The show's got a ton of spy gadgets, so he could be a fun fighter. <coughs> Die. Yes, I'm including Chameleon. No, he's got no chance. No, I don't care. Inside jokes are very important. Also, he's a shapeshifter, so his moveset is literally limitless. At the very least, if Dudley does get in, can you at least give him an alternate costume that makes him look like the chameleon's, like, color shape-shifting design thing? So let me just have my dumb inside jokes, please. You probably predicted that Korra was the reason I picked Zuko and Toph over someone like Iroh, Azula, Sokka, and Kara, so we can get one of each element. And she's in the real game, I think. And it still pops up in Nick advertisements, so it feels like a safe bet. Even if she's a land character. For the Ninja Turtles, I want to do something kind of unique. I'm making each of the reps be a different version from a different show. For the Turtles themselves, obviously they'd be the classic 87 Turtles, the most iconic. I didn't think they could match them all into one slot because of the variety of different weapons. But they did it in Injustice, so we're not here. So far, only Mikey and Leo are confirmed. Which makes sense, is Mikey the best turtle? And let me beat up the worst turtle? Yes, I am still bitter over the decade old death battle, shut up. But whatever, I'm sure the other two will follow as well. For Shredder, he'll be based on the 2012 version. He's big, strong, yet very slow. That's not really how he is in the show, but it's, you know, balance and whatnot. Super Shredder will be the Smash. For the final character, I'm actually going with April. She's more unique than Splinter and more iconic than anyone else. And this is specifically her Rise version, who has a bat and can teleport, but definitely not Pikachu friend. Sanjay and Craig is a show I don't know much about it, but it's got a snake, so cool. Harry Beaks I know nothing about besides it was done by C.S. Greenblatt, who makes Chowder, so by that alone he deserves a lot. Loud House is by far Nick's biggest non-underwater show, and I have never seen it. Can you tell when I stopped watching Nickelodeon? Can you tell when everyone back to these shows like I did with CN? Can you tell I like doing this voice? Anyways, not sure what he can do, but could be fun to make all of his moves some one of his sisters. Ronnie and Santiago was Lincoln's girlfriend and got her own spinoff, so she's here too, whatever, I, I don't care, I don't know enough about the show. So, I don't know if Nick still owns the rights, but I'm gonna include Rango. I just really wanna be able to shoot Otis, okay? This would drive up the chameleon count to two, making it automatically better than every single fighting game. Hey, did you know Nick owns Garfield? Because Nick owns Garfield. His taunts are eating lasagna because haha funny, and he needs to have one of his attacks to kicking out Okay, uh, this one, the final character, it's a bit strange, but I think it'll be cool. And that is, uh, remember those old, like, Nick advertisements with the orange slime logo? I think it'd be a fun final character for the game. Where he kind of shows into different things for each attack. Like a blimp for the special, and his normal form is just a normal dude. They call him Splat in some shorts, so I'm gonna call him Splat for this game. He's the final character. So there is my 50 unlikely picks for Nick All-Stars Brawl. I would say it's dumb to cut down on characters when this roster is already wrong, but like, screw it. Here's a 35 character roster. If you're wondering why I didn't include certain shows or characters, Doug is owned by Disney now. Nick no longer owns or anything DreamWorks. I doubt they'd allow anything from Nick Jr. to be carried across the horizons. Glitch text isn't on Nick proper, so I don't see it happening. And I originally had this a Nick Toons fighting game, and it seems like all the characters so far are cartoons, so I'm sticking with that. Also, it's not a good idea to include characters from live action Nick shows when the star of your biggest one is Diddler. As for any other show not mentioned, it's just not as popular, I'm sorry. Okay, I will admit, this video is a bit rushed. Uh, I didn't attend doing this video as quickly as I did after my uh, card number one. Uh, I just, I do really love Nickelodeon. And I had this roster for like over a year now, so I didn't want to go to rate waste. And you know, maybe I can trend surf like all those big YouTube. I'm not gonna trend. No one's gonna watch this video. Though, uh, if I can be honest, uh, if I had to pick who I want, um, not really sure. Uh, well, I obviously want uh, Larry and Dutchman, or one of the two. Just, you know, give us some more obscure SpongeBob character here. Obscure. Uh, Sokka is a favorite character, character. I didn't mention him on here for reasons, but. I'd love to see Sokka, and of course for memes, a chameleon, or just anyone from Tough Puppy. Just, just, just for 
big old meme fest. Um, I am planning another video like this on uh, Card Network, not Card Network, uh, Disney, on Disney. I did Card Network. Please watch that video, that's really good. But yeah, I did, I do plan on making one of these for Disney, but I have a question for you guys, and that is, should I make it on Disney movies or Disney shows? I'm asking this because I, I, I physically cannot merge the two together. Like there's way too many on both sides for me to get a good happy medium. But I also really like both sides of the spectrum, so I don't know uh, which ones would you guys prefer. I, I won't do both because that's just kind of repetitive to do one video where it's me talking about Disney fighting games and it's another video talk about me talking about Disney fighting games. It's the same thing. So if you prefer one or the other, please tell me uh, before I do that. I don't know when I'm going to do that. Uh, I didn't, wasn't expecting to do this quickly. Uh, Maybe I'll do, I don't know, maybe they'll reveal a Disney fighting game tomorrow. <laughs> I don't freaking know. Um, yeah, thanks for tuning in for this very, very rushed video. And I will see you at Nick Brawl Stars, where I will pwn noobs as Reptar. Security system takes control of Squidward's house 